Hello everyone, welcome back to Facebook Live. We are here, Amanda and I are together again today. We're up in Batnow. We are with Beth and Jay Lee. They work here at Dakota College at Batnow. Today we are going to be talking about really what you should be doing during the summer to prepare for college. Um, we know that there's a ton of important things to do to prep for college and um, especially in the up for the upcoming school year, making sure your financial aid is ready to go, applying for additional student loans, applying for housing, um, just figuring out who's maybe going to bring what if you're going to be living on campus or even off campus, going through that list. So we're here to talk with the experts. Um, Jay Lee's in financial aid, Beth is in admissions, so they've got some great advice for us. Um, so really. Ladies, prepping for college can be overwhelming at times, yeah. right? Yeah. So give us some, uh, maybe the top three tricks that you think are going to be the, the best things for students to do while they're preparing for college. All right. So um, biggest things with preparing would be um, to have come and have a tour of campus um, if you are able. Um, if you are at a different area, um, please follow your email. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our email um, is a great way of communicating. Um, be watching that as we send out stuff from financial aid as well as admissions. Okay. Um, housing will also be sending you information um, as to who your roommate is. All okay. those things. Who can yep. bring the fridge? Who can bring the, the coffee maker? Things like that. Yeah. Important <laughs> things, right? <laughs> those things during college. Absolutely. Um, also, follow up and don't be afraid to ask questions. We're here to help. Nothing is a silly question. When you are coming to college, you're not sure what you're getting into. Please call us and ask so we can help. Email us. That's what we're here for. Okay. I'll let Beth take another one over. Um, or I, excuse me, I have one more. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot my third one. Um, enjoy your summer. Summer is here. Enjoy it before you come to, to school in the fall. Spend time with friends and family, and be ready when you come in the fall to be prepared. Have your, you know, focus on school. So enjoy that while you can. Spend time with those friends and family. Awesome. Good pointers. Very good pointers. <laughs> What about, do you have anything specific there? Um, so I think for our freshman students, um, the best thing that they can do is attend one of our pre-registration days like we're doing today. We have another one coming up on July 16th, so you can register for that on our website. Um, what students do on days like today is they come, they get to meet faculty and staff that they're going to be working with. Um, they get to meet with the key offices on campus. So today, so far, they've heard from financial aid, our business office. Um, our Student Success Center and our TRIO program and then they got to hear about housing um, and then they got to take a tour which we just wrapped up in our 80 degree weather today so that was really fun um, but students got to see all of the campus and that was really nice. So, so for freshman students, other than connecting with their roommate, coming to these pre-registration days, what other kinds of things should they keep in mind or should they be doing over summer to make sure that they are ready to go for their fall semester? So just a few things to be aware of. Um, so our students should be working on their um, registration, which they can do today, obviously, over the summer. When they register, they're going to learn about what we call first year experience, which is our freshman orientation for all of our new students on campus. Um, when they come, that what is... What are they doing that? Yeah, so that's the first weekend before school starts. Um, and they arrive on campus a little early. Then they have sessions where they get to meet the students who are they're going to be attending with. It's probably the best way to meet people and make friends. They learn about um, basically how to be a successful student at Dakota College at Bonnell and what it's like to be a student here. And then we do fun things too. We get to go up to Lake Minagoshi and enjoy some time there. We also have like a block party out here where everyone gets to hang out, have some treats, stuff like that. Um, and then they get to meet their advisors then as well. Very nice. And during that FYE weekend, um, it is similar to a freshman orientation. They okay. do get a credit for it, um, which oh. they need for graduation, yeah. which is a very okay. important thing. Um, but also, um, the staff and faculty, we all get assigned about 20 to 25 students, and we spend the weekend with them. Okay. Um, so we rotate them around the classes, um, around campus, so that they kind of have a familiar face once they do, um, you know, have actual classes. They can say, hey, yeah. oh, I know them. I can feel mm -hmm. comfortable coming and asking asking a question. Um, it's also a big um, a bonus for parents to kind of know that their students are getting to be comfortable on campus. We're here to help them and give parents peace of mind 
themselves as well as their students. Yeah. Kind of guide them along the way. Yes. So yeah. is this unique to um, Dakota College at Baton or do other schools throughout the state do something similar to this? They do. Um, other campuses around are required to do this as well. Oh, a lot exciting. of them will do it just on a weekly basis, just a class a week throughout the semester. Okay. Um, and we just prefer if we can try to put it all into one weekend, um, let them get to know each other so that when they are moved into the dorms, they'll have to know their faces. And we'll just kind of do a different way here at PCD. Very nice. I like that way. I, that sounds like my kind of way. We enjoy it. We really enjoy ourselves getting to know the students as well. Absolutely. It's a great weekend. Very cool. So that's the freshman, incoming freshmen. What about those returning college students? You know, maybe they finish up their freshman year last year. Is there anything in particular that they need to really be working on during the summer? Or are they pretty good to go? Or how does that work? Most of them are pretty good. Um, they need to reapply for their housing because that's not something that renews itself. Um, and they need to redo their FAFSA, which is their application for financial aid. Um, some students will go back home and maybe take a summer class on a campus that's more local to them so they can attend and they just need to send back their transcripts for that. Okay. Otherwise, um, sophomore students are pretty set. Obviously, check and make sure you're still on track to graduate, check in with your advisor, make sure you're prepared for class, things like that. Good. Good. So how about those transfer students? So do they kind of need to be mindful of those same things that are a freshman might not like? Just because, you know, they're coming to you brand new. They might have done the college thing before, but they're brand new to the yes. So, you know, depending on how many credits they've had before in the past, they may still have to attend our orientation um, to get to learn what it's like to be a college student. Maybe they've been somewhere for a couple years and they're coming back here and they don't necessarily need to do that. Um, Things aren't really different for them besides the fact that they need to give us our transcripts from their previous school. Um, that way us and their advisors can make sure that they're attending the classes that they need to graduate. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So again, just make sure you're checking your email, answering your phone so you know that you have everything ready to go. Because I mean, all of that communication. Yeah, that's what we're here for to help out. Yeah, very cool. And Amanda, I know you've got a couple more things, but I should have prefaced this at the beginning. Um, at DCB, like you guys had mentioned, they're doing their pre-registration day, and I'm sure a lot of you folks that um, are going to be attending college this upcoming year are probably doing this all throughout North Dakota. <laughs> and if you're going out of, out of state as well, you're probably doing different things. So today it's kind of fun because there's a picnic going on here too. So I hope everybody's enjoying their time um, walking around and getting to see where they're going to get to really yeah, um, figure themselves out, find themselves in school next year, really, right? Yeah. So I remember my freshman orientation session. We did a summer thing like this, and we did overnights when I was in college. And the girl that was actually... Um, my roommate during the overnight, we were roommates for the entire four years. So this is a really, yeah, so this is a really cool event where students can connect with, you know, other classmates, maybe find that roommate, find a lifelong friend. So, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's amazing when you hear how people have met on campus, and a lot of times it is that freshman class, and you yep. link up with somebody, and they'll be a bridesmaid one day, and you're yep. back. Yeah. <laughs> I actually went to her wedding last September, so yeah, your, your friend, yeah. <laughs> Yep. So, so yeah, all those, you know, fun little things. So, all right, any departing words before we sign off today and advice? I have one quick little thing. Um, North Dakota University System Schools, including DCB, um, a lot of the other, like I said, North Dakota campuses have checklists. Um, what is in our system called Campus Connection, and when you log in, you want to look on the right-hand side and you'll see a to-do list, and your to-do list um, is that checklist. Checklist. You need to make sure there's nothing in your to-dos. Um, otherwise, if there is something there, you need to call us. If you're unsure, if you click on it online, it will give you instructions of what it is regarding. Um, but Perfect. make sure those are resolved before you come to campus so that you are prepared, ready to go when all this gets here. Very nice. So when do students usually get their campus connection? So students, if you haven't gotten your campus connection yet, when do they usually get it? So for us, it's um, right after they apply and pay their application fee if they are conditionally accepted to DCP and have access to Campus Connection. So this could be their senior year in high school? Yep, yep and great. if they're dual credit students, they actually get it as soon as they take a dual credit class. Oh, yeah. okay. That's great to know. 
Another thing for dual credit, just a tidbit, um, if you are a dual credit student and now you're going to be our freshman college student, make sure to reapply to campus yes. because it doesn't automatically carry over. Because dual credit, you are a high school student. Now you're going to be that college student. Make sure to reapply. If you're unsure, call us, email us. We're here to help. Wonderful. Great information. All right. Well, I. I think that's all we I have for yeah. today. So, yeah. all right, thanks for joining us on a Friday. I hope, you know, everyone gets out of work early and has a wonderful weekend. I, that's what we're probably <laughs> doing. So have a great weekend anyway. Um, so anyway, we will see you back next Tuesday at 2.30. Um, and yeah, we will see you then. So Bye everyone. You. Have a good weekend.